Okay, hello all. How are we doing? We're looking at angles and polygons again today. Okay, so I've created this um, formula worksheet that will help you with any of these questions. Okay, so you can have a look through it. Um, for example, shape, if it has three sides, some of the interior angles will be 180. So one of them must be 60 and exterior angles are always 360. Okay, so interior angles are inside, exterior angles are outside. Okay. Outside will always add up to 360, no matter what the shape is. Interior then is the formula n minus 2 times 180. So the number of sides minus 2 times 180. As it's pretty obvious with a triangle, if it's three sides, 3 minus 2 is 1 times 180. That makes sense. A triangle adds up to 180. For a square, 4 minus 2 is 2 times 180 is 360. So you should know that for a four sided shape or a square, adds up to 360 inside okay so that's the formula for interior angles it's there as well. and exterior angles then they should total 360 and then if you want to find out one of them you divide by the number of sides so for example this question this is a pentagon so it should total 360 and the outside if it's a regular pentagon it's 360 divided by 5 will give you one of the angles so 360 divided by the number of sides gives you one of the exterior angles, the regular polygons. So we're going to start with the my maths that I said yesterday that people found difficult or else just didn't have time to do it. I'm not really sure, but anyway, I'm going to go through a couple of the questions. So, um, okay, look at the first one, interior angles. If we view the task, I'll go through a couple of questions on each of them. So hopefully it will help you out. Okay, these triangle ones you should be able to do. So two angles here, figure out the third one. They have to add up to 180. So you can use calculators. These have to add up to 180. Then this line also has to add up to 180. So once you figure out this angle, you can then figure out this angle. So 45 plus 49, that is 94. So this is 94, sorry, 180 take away 94 is this. So that must be 86. So this angle then will be 94 as well. Okay. Let's just like that. Okay. Obviously I didn't do the other ones, but you can do them. This one. So you've count up how many sides there are on the shape first. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's going to be different for all of you. This is the shape I have. It's a nonagon. So to find the exterior angle, it's 360 divided by 9, which works out evenly enough to be 40. To find out the interior angles, it's the number of sides. So n is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7 times 180. The total interior angles is 1260. You only want one of them, so you divide that by 9, and that should be 140. Obviously, there is a link between the exterior and interior. They should add up to 180 as well. Okay. Great. If we look at the other task you had, um, other task, this one. Something similar. Once you have those formula for interior and exterior, that was the same question. Sorry. Once you have that formula, you should be able to do it anyway. Copy the task. Okay. Find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with thirty-six sides. So it's 36 minus 2 is 34 times 180. Whatever that answer is, then you divide it by the number of sides, 36. So, it's, so it would be 34 times 180 divided by 36. Okay, hopefully that makes sense and clears things up a little bit. Let me know if you've got any questions.